Hello, my name is Dr Joel Barton and I'm the representation support worker here at Newcastle University mm -hmm. Students Union and I'm joined by Rowan South who is the education officer here at NUSU. So just to explain the background of the Teaching Excellence Awards. So the Teaching Excellence Awards or TEAS were first conceived by NUSU back in 2011 uh, and the idea was that it would provide an opportunity for students to celebrate excellence uh, from their teaching staff and professional services staff uh, across the university. This would take the form of a qualitative nomination in which the student would explain why they thought their member of staff um, should receive the TEAS award. Now over the years NUSU realised that it was amassing quite a valuable uh, data set in terms of what students thought constituted excellence. Uh, so in the academic year of 2015 and 16, NUSU decided that it would analyse its nominations from that year and compile a report which identified the key themes of what students considered to be excellence. So in the report we found it highlighted three key themes which we've picked out today. Uh, the first one is clarity of presentation and the data from the T Awards um, really reinforced the point that uh, students really appreciate it when a lecturer or an instructor is able to convey complex lecture material in an understandable and accessible way. Something else that was highlighted with this, a bit more surprisingly perhaps, is that students really do appreciate um, the more traditional sage on the stage approach to lecturing. Uh, this is an approach to lecturing which um, the more larger scale lecture theatres are built around. So the second thing that the T's told us about what students valued as excellence when it came to these larger lecture sizes uh, is the idea of lectures as a conversation and the importance of storytelling. We found that some of the most engaging instances of lecturing that students commented on were ones in which lecturers would give some anecdotal stories, whether that was about their professional experience, so for example uh, law lecturers talking about their time working in law, or perhaps a scientific researcher talking about field research. Now, of course, that could be applied to any learning context, large or small, but the advantage for the larger lecture theatres is that that kind of anecdotal storytelling approach allows a lecturer to create a sense of rapport and intimacy, even if the building itself doesn't actually nurture that. So, something that's not always applicable, but by no means impossible, uh, is encouraging open discussion in larger lecture classes. Um, this allows contributions from students to shape the direction of a particular lecture. Uh, we found that teaching excellence was associated with a nominee's ability to encourage open and thought-provoking debates within the classroom environment. Um, students found that uh, sharing their ideas with their peers uh, enhanced their knowledge and understanding of a topic and allowed them to become active participants in their own learning process. So if you want to find out more about the T's or read the T's report, you can download it from nusu.co.uk forward slash T or you can pop into the Rep and Dem office and speak to myself or Rowan on the ground floor of the Students' Union building.